Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel, Awaken with Nancy. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning, gosh, Gemini, it's been so long. It's been like six weeks since I've uploaded a video for you. Um, many of you may know that I just moved across the country. It was very time consuming. Um, you know, lots of moving parts, a lot to figure out. So I did take quite a bit of time off. I'm, you know, still getting settled in my new place, but I am back to at least, you know, uh, recording videos for you guys. So um, I just started recording videos this week. It's a little slow going, um, but I do expect to be more consistent in the future. And my calendar is open up for, um, for private readings now. So if you guys want to book, um, you can email me or you can go to my website, awakenwithnancy.com and book directly online. I'm so happy to be back. Happy New Year. Um, I'm excited about this year and I'm excited to do this reading for you. So this is your February love vibe reading. So we're going to look at um, what is potentially coming in for you as far as love in January and beyond. We're going to look at the past and what may be holding you back or impacting your love life. We're going to look at the present and we're going to look at future energies. So just the general messages coming through, we've got goddess of the moon. This is a very feminine energy and this is, you know, referencing listening to your intuition, really relying on that inner knowing that you have when it comes to your love life. And we do have surrender to the divine. And so if there's anything that you're holding on to, and I do feel that there is something or someone that you're holding on to, it's important at this time to surrender it to the divine because we've got what do you need to release. And so this is either someone or a belief system, a pattern of behavior, something like that. We've got the honoring path for you. And so what this is saying is that it is really time to honor yourself and to make those choices in love that are going to benefit you, that are going to bring you the contentment, the wish fulfillment that you are really, really desiring. I feel that in the past, um, or at least with someone in the past, um, it was not a great fit for you. And this person didn't really honor who you were and you settled for less than you really wanted, less than you really deserved. But Spirit's saying no more, it's time to really assert yourself and have um, firm boundaries when it comes to love. And Spirit's gonna help bring the person that's meant for you into your life. And so if, you know, if you've been dealing with lies, deceit, um, somebody who ghosts or somebody who's self-involved and, you know, isn't giving um, to you, then that's something from the past. That's, um, spirit doesn't want you to have that experience anymore. And this is for you guys. This is a general message. So it's, it's not going to resonate with everyone. And quite honestly, if you have not been doing your inner work and you just expect everything to magically transform, that's not how it works, you guys. Okay. But if you've been doing your work and I know many in the collective have, then this is a message for you. This is um, spirit guiding you to have these boundaries so that they can bring in this person that you're longing for. We've got transformation. This is beautiful. This is the death card. And so what I am getting from this is when you release someone, okay? So it could be just an energetic connection that you have with this person, or they could be still be in your life. Once you release them and their energy, you choose to honor yourself. 
you surrender it up to spirit and you start honoring your intuition, this is going to create a huge transformation within your love life. It is like dying, rebirth, rising from the ashes like the phoenix. So very powerful energy. Um, and that, you know, that is, um, that is the Scorpio card, you guys. Okay, so in the recent past, we've got the Queen of Michael, which is the Queen of Swords. These are the Archangel Power Tarot cards. This says brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationship. Interesting that they um, have that verbiage about career. Uh, maybe... Some of you chose your career over a love relationship, or some of you just decided to be independent, self-reliant. It's like you did start to release those things. Um, you did start to establish those boundaries, and this is gonna this is gonna help you. So we've got the Nine of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Two of Swords. And so what this is saying to me is um, with the Queen of Swords coming through, I, I'm just getting that there's somebody that you were very much attached to and it was probably difficult to walk away from them or to release their energy. Um, but that is what you've been working on, okay? With the hanged man coming through, this is about a little bit of stagnation. It's like you, I, I feel like you're still working on releasing this person. And you guys, it does take time, um, whether it's just energetically or physically in your life. It does take time, especially, you know, these energetic connections when one person does not want to disengage. So I do feel a little bit of stagnation, but with the hanged man coming through, I do get that you're starting to see things from a different perspective, a higher perspective, especially with the goddess of the moon here and surrender to the divine. Um, you know, this is really about understanding things from a deeper level. And we've got the two of swords. This is very much a stalemate or an indecision card. And so, yeah, I'm getting that you have had a difficult, difficult time with this person from your past, just releasing them. There could have been um, a lot of stuck energy between the two of you. Perhaps there were conversations, communication that needed to take place or that needs to take place in order for you to fully release them and, you know, walk on this honoring path. Okay, that's too many cards. So I'm just going to, that was three cards, you guys. So I'm going to, um, I did just see the four of Michael, which is the four of swords, which is rest and rejuvenation. The current energy is strength, Archangel Ariel. And this is the same as the strength card in the tarot. This says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So where I feel you are, Gemini, with respect to love is it is 
finding your courage, that inner strength to keep you going down this honoring path so that you can really transform things in your love life. Um, it's I, I feel like right now is a time that you're gaining in self-confidence. It's, it's almost like your solar plexus. This is our third chakra, you guys. It is lighting up. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, this is where we hold our, our confidence, our self-esteem, our self-worth. And the affirmation for that is, I can. And so I'm just getting that, yeah, you're in this place of really believing in yourself like you've never believed in yourself before and you're optimistic it's like you're gonna go for what you want in love is is really what i'm feeling um you feel a little uncomfortable but there's a major pattern that's going to be releasing so this is very very positive let's see what's coming through wow We've got the King of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Page of Wands. And so what I'm getting is you're going to be successful. Just keep going, keep honoring yourself, keep releasing, keep holding firm in your boundaries. Um, there is somebody very loyal, committed, stable, abundant who is coming in for you is what I'm feeling. There's an exciting new chapter. There could be communication that's coming through um, soon, okay, with a page of wands. Um, this could be someone that you already know, you're acquainted with. It doesn't mean that you have a romance with them, um, it could be a colleague, a friend, just, you know, somebody within your world that you're aware of, but maybe you've never thought of a, a romantic future with them. Okay, the um, the future looks good. We've got justice. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. And we've got the six of Gabriel. This is the six of wands, which we just saw in the present. This says, huh, can't speak. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project awards, scholarships, or promotions. Okay, I don't feel that this has to do with work because this is a love reading, but this is about success and victory and justice. Rulings are going to be made in your favor. And so, yeah, I feel like something really good is coming in for you in 2021, you guys. And, you know, when I did the readings, um, for all the zodiac signs for the year ahead, there were two themes, karma releasing and heart awakening. I swear those cards came through for like seven or eight of the signs. Okay, so we've got the Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. And so what I'm getting is that if you've been in a battle with anyone um, from your past or, you know, this could just be like a battle in your love life. And you're all, it seems that you've always been on the losing end of that. Well, that cycle has ended. You're going to have plenty of choices and opportunities. This is a very dreamy energy. So I feel like the sky is the limit for you. What you're wanting, if you're doing this work, Spirit's going to bring it in for you because we've got the Ten of Pentacles and this is indicating wish fulfillment. This is like the ultimate achievement in life. You've got everything that you want. Um, the house, the dog, the car, the castle, the husband, the wife. 
Um, this is a family. Uh, there are grandparents and there's like three generations. So this is what is available for you. So I want to get just a couple more cards. And see what the closing messages are. Hope, love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Yeah. The honoring path. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. So if you're in a place of resentment or, you know, you haven't forgiven somebody, you're still angry with somebody, this is a message for you to release that because there's something really special coming in for you and it's going to be important for you to just be, um, have your, vibe, your energetic vibration as high as possible so that this can come in for you. I want to get one more card. Oh, we've got the Flamingo Spirit. Embrace the in-between. And so what I'm feeling from this is, yeah, you are in a place of being in-between. Um, you're, you haven't quite gone through this transformation for the most part. Is for the, yeah, for, for the majority of you is what I'm feeling. You haven't yet gone through this transformation. You're still in the middle of these other energies, you know, releasing things, surrendering to spirit, listening to your intuition, and really trying to honor yourself through um, different choices and, you know, very, very strong boundaries with others. Um, but you're not going to be in between forever. There are major shifts happening for you. Justice is going to come in and this transformation is available for you and your love life. So that looks pretty good. Gemini, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for joining me today. I'm sending you so much love. Bye-bye.